Hi, my name is Mike Wagner. I'm a senior product manager for Airy Lighting, and we're here at NAB 2017 to show you guys a couple of new things related to the sky panel. So with the sky panel, we've always wanted to keep, continue to upgrade and update the fixture as time goes on, and we released two major software updates since the release of the product itself. And here at NAB, we're announcing a brand new software update, which is firmware 3.0. We have 10 amazing new features, including lighting effects. And we have all these different lighting effects, including candle, clouds passing, club lights, color chase, cop car, fire, fireworks, light strobe, lightning, paparazzi, pulsing, television. We also have a new mode called source mode. And source mode mimics all of the different types of real world sources that we see around us. So including all these different incandescent sources, we have a bunch of different fluorescent sources programmed into here as well, some discharge sources, and a whole bunch of uh, category what we call other. So includes things like sun, electroluminescence, blowtorch, road flare, traffic lights. So you could pick any of these sources, click on it, and now you could have this uh, real world match to an actual source that we took with the spectrometer. The next one is a very uh, highly requested feature which is a high speed mode. So when you turn on the high speed mode of the sky panel, now you can uh, shoot at basically any frame rate and any shutter angle. We've tested it up to 25,000 frames per second and down to two degree shutter angle, uh, but we think that you could go even faster if you needed to. We have SACN implementation. We also have a preset DMX channel, which allows you to select the presets that you store in the fixture from a DMX channel. We have an RGBW calibrated mode, so we can either have direct control or a calibrated color space that will allow us to now have unit-to-unit -unit consistency when using RGBW mode. We also have a feature called frequency selection, so if you're shooting at uncommon frame rates, you could choose one of these 10 different frequencies to see if that you could reduce or even eliminate any small amounts of flicker or roll bars. So the next feature is something that we call the enabled menu. The enabled menu is a menu setting where you could go through and see all of the different settings on the sky panel in one menu. So you could see everything that's on and off and see what their settings are and you could even go into it and change it. So it's basically like a snapshot of all of the fixture behavior in one menu. So you don't have to dig through all of the different menu items to find something that you're looking for. The last feature is something that we call the sky panel web server. And what that is is that because we have a, a network port on the fixture, you could connect uh, the sky panel to a network and then dial into the IP address of that fixture and it will actually, the sky panel generates a website. And that website that's generated by each sky panel, you could connect to on, on any web browser, on your iPad or on your PC or whatever it might be, and you could control all of the different settings on the sky panel right from a web browser. So that's all of the 10 features in firmware 3.0 for the sky panel. Uh, it's available today, April 24th, as a free download from our website. So if you own some sky panels, I highly recommend you go download it, throw it on a new USB stick, put it on your sky panel, and you get all of these features in a matter of moments. So please visit www.airy.com slash sky panel effects, and you can read about all these features online and download the update. So thanks very much for joining us, and we'll see you next year.